Loot Crate. It's the Top 5 Show. I'm Christian. Hey, I'm Mark and Christian. This weekend in theaters, yes, we have The Boss starring Melissa McCarthy. We yeah. also have Demolition. Limited, yes? Yes. It's not the yes. one with Taco Bell and Stallone and Wesley Snipes, but it does have Jake Gyllenhaal, who's a really good actor. That's right. Jake Gyllenhaal, who's been a guy that started with Bubble Boy, and he said, wait a minute, who the hell is this guy? Is, <laughs> why are we watching? Why do you always have to throw him under the bus? Because when, we... you don't think he's going to have the kind of career that he has. Now when you well, hear, you're like, oh, yeah. wait a minute, this guy is a really great actor. So we just Decided we're going to do the top five Jake Gyllenhaal movies. And here we go, one that I loved, and I know it surprised both of us how much fun it was, how exciting it was, how time travel action-y it was, directed by Duncan Jones, mm -hmm. starring Jake, Source Code. What a cool sci-fi flick this was. Source Code was a really cool, kind of underrated movie, like you said, Duncan Jones, but it just, it showed what Jake Gyllenhaal could do as a leading man to where he really does get you engaged this whole time because it's kind of this mystery of what's happening, this cool time travel story. It was a lot of fun. That's the thing, and was it Michelle Monaghan yes. was also in that? Mm -hmm. And a little cameo by Russell Peters, a very funny comic. Okay, Christian, at number four we have? Number four, that would be Zodiac. Now, some would say, well, wait a minute, that's more of a Robert Downey Jr. movie. No, really, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal is the main character. You just because yeah. Downey has such a strong performance, but these are the movies that Gyllenhaal's in. So this movie, David Fincher, creepy, creepy movie, obviously, and it showed a cool, it doesn't, it was more of the Gyllenhaal as the good guy. Lately, he's been playing like the guys mm -hmm. that you don't really root for, but he, he, but he has been. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple other movies on this list where you, our number one, you're not really going to be pulling for the guy. Yeah. You just can't stop watching. Check out Zodiac. It's a long movie, but it's worth it. And it's got like one third of the Avengers in it. So cool flick. Number three. Number three is going to be a movie that is very not advised if you are a parent. Luckily, I'm not that I know of. And that's going to be Prisoners. Christian, this movie freaked you out, huh? Uh, it did, but I think that you had, you had pumped it up so much that I would be so terrified because of what happens towards the there's things that happen at the end that I was like oh, okay that 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 to me it, I don't want to spoil the movies but anyway it's, it's not what happens Christian. I know I know it's, it's, it's the it's, entire movie yes. a girl gets kidnapped it's, it's and I terrifying. thought maybe you didn't want to see it no it's so. terrifying but I liked seeing Jake Gyllenhaal in this role because he was he's a really good cop but he's a gritty cop he's you, he's he's a he's a badass in the movie too yeah. so you see this film and you're like well I don't know if, if necessarily he's gonna be able to pull it off but he certainly does and playing against Hugh Jackman a lot of the scenes as well yeah I like that he was like a new he was like a young cop but he wasn't like inexperienced he's been through the rings a little bit and so he knows what he's looking for. Uh, at number two is a movie that I have not yet seen but I hear very good things. There's no reason I haven't seen it, I just haven't seen it and that would be? Brokeback Mountain. It's a movie that I think Ang Lee, the late Heath Ledger, it's a movie to me that I think showed everybody that he had the acting chops. It showed you because it is, it's a love story. It's a movie that was very controversial, but it also, it really is at heart, heart it is a love story about these two guys, um, two cowboys, and the way you just really believe the connection between uh, Ledger and Gyllenhaal. Yeah, the way that people rave about this thing, it's something that I definitely need to check out. And it's also what, Anne Hathaway and Michelle Williams yes. are also in that movie? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So at number one is gonna be the movie that we alluded to earlier, where you don't don't necessarily root for this guy, but you can't take your eyes off him. That would be Nightcrawler, the movie where he got robbed because he was not nominated for an Oscar that year. He should have definitely been what nominated. The maybe even winning. He was so good in that role, and he is this guy that is just kind of broken inside, but you'll never look at news the same way, local mm -hmm. news ever. Or Rene Russo, for that matter. Very true, but it is a movie that it, it's, it's engaging, it is, it's creepy, it's, a, it's adrenaline full. I mean, the, see what he does in this movie. It, it is, I think, his best performance to date. That's right, and if for no other reason, check it out because the intern that he hires on there is gonna be in the new Star Wars movie, Rogue One, so it's a nice little treat for you. Um, Christian, honorable there's mentions. some honorable mentions, and the one I'm gonna get is, is you mentioned a lot of words when you said Nightcrawl. You mm -hmm. said like creepy and engaging, can't take your eyes off it. That's how I felt about Enemy, which is also done by Prisoner's director, Denny Villeneuve, yeah. who's also doing Blade Runner 2, so make sure you watch it. It's a slower movie, but Jake Gyllenhaal has a lot of characters to do. Well, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal was rumored at one point to be in Suicide Squad, directed by David Ayer, and why was that? Because he was in End of Watch, which is one that should have got on this ah, list. It was close yeah. to a really good movie. Um, and let's not forget about Donnie Darko. He was a little younger in his career, yep. but it's certainly a really good movie. The Good Girl, uh, you mentioned Bubble yep. Boy. Fun fact, that Bubble Boy was not his first movie. You know what his first screen appearance was? Uh, Red Dawn. City Slickers. He plays a kid really? in City Slickers oh, wow, look at with that. Billy Crystal. Well, you learn everything. You learn everything. Hanging out with me, you learn everything. You learn everything. Literally everything. Um, I'm tired, but this is the Top 5 Show. We had a really good one today. Mark, where can they find us? That's Christian. I'm Mark. Subscribe to our channel, Schmoes No, right here on YouTube. And for God's sakes, make sure you guys check out Loot Crate. Thanks for watching their channel. Now get a new box of really awesome stuff from them every month. For God's sakes!
Wait, did I say that a lot? Yeah, you did. Oh, I'll stop.